Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. And today I want to talk about getting rid of cockroaches. I've had a lot of videos on roach control, but I haven't really gone into the most inexpensive way to eliminate roaches. And so today, hopefully we'll be able to explain that to you in as quickly a manner, manner as I possibly can. And so you can get, it, get to killing roaches. Um, <clears throat> if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, share it around. Uh, if you really like it, think about subscribing to my channel. It really helps me out a lot in order to be able to get these messages out to the people who really need to hear them. Um, and also, I do have a Patreon server for those interested where I uh, offer people to help. I take the money and I dedicate it towards uh, giving people inexpensive pest control. So anyway, now that I got that out of the way, let's talk about cockroaches. So. A lot of people complain to me about roach control, about being able to eliminate roaches themselves, uh, what's the best chemicals for cockroaches, and today I really want to go over the money that you're going to spend on roaches and why it's important to, uh, you know, take care and how much, how, like I said, how much money you're actually putting into the job, and is it more expensive or is it less expensive to hire an exterminator? So, and I know that a lot of people are going to give me flack for this, but I'm going to go over the numbers with you and explain to you exactly how to get rid of roaches yourself, and then you can, you know, connect the dots and, and figure up the uh, price structure on your own. But, um, all right, so this is how you get rid of roaches. Crack and crevice treatment. That's a phrase used in the pest control industry every day. Um, basically, the way it works is you're going out and you're doing a pest control service for someone. You're going to use a liquid insecticide. The liquid insecticide is used in the cracks and the crevices of the home. So basically, you go around and you treat with a chemical behind your baseboards, um, you know, behind shoe molding, uh, around your window moldings. Um, let me think. If you open up underneath the sink, up around the basin of your sink, uh, your cabinets, your uh, inside the cabinets, take everything out of your cabinets, treat all the cracks and crevices in the cabinet, pull the drawers out, treat the rails uh, where the, you know, the, the rails where your drawers kind of roll in and out, the, the roller rails, treat those, the cracks in those, uh, treat the crack behind the splash block in your, uh, behind your kitchen sink. And I've gone over this before in other videos, and if I remember, I'll link them in the description below, or I'll even put them in the end cards, which is usually like right up here with a little eye up there, and you can click that and see the link. But um, what I've never really gone into to detail are pesticides. And the reason I don't really give a lot of pesticide information, but today I'm going to, but usually I don't give a lot of pesticide information because there is an awful lot that goes into killing roaches. So basically what you're doing when you're killing cockroaches, you have to rotate your pesticide. All right, so Alpine WSG is a really good chemical for cockroaches. You read the label and mix it to label and use it in the cracks and crevices in the house. It lasts for a while, does a really good job. It's a 30-day residual. It does a really good job on cockroaches. Um, the problem is, is that you can't just use one pesticide to kill roaches. All right, so this is what I do when I get rid of roaches. I go in and I use, I may use Alpine today, and then in a month, I'm going to use uh, maybe Demon or, uh, you know, some, something else. You know, the, the, the point that I'm saying is you're going to have to invest a lot of money into your liquid insecticides. Uh, you're going to have to use dusts uh, in wall voids uh, and also in cracks and crevices that you can't treat with a liquid insecticide. You're going to need to use baits. Uh, baits, as in a lot of people call it that peanut butter stuff from the needle or whatever because they've seen exterminators use it before. But it's basically like a syringe and it holds a ro uh, roach bait inside the syringe that you can also use in areas where you can't apply dusts and you can't apply uh, pesticide. Okay, so that's three things you're going to do in one month, those, those three chemicals. Now, next month, you may alternate and use like Demon with an IGR, and then you're going to use, uh, you probably won't use the dust two months in a row because it lasts a lot longer than liquid, and the baits, uh, if the roaches are not taking the bait, you need to switch and use a different bait. Pay attention to your 
active ingredients um, because the active ingredient is what makes a bait effective. And uh, palatability matters too. Sometimes roaches don't, don't like the way bait tastes. If they're not eating the bait, you need to switch and use a different bait. So that, those are the, the, uh, that's all the tips and pointers for being able to do roach control yourself. Now, Alpine WSG costs uh, anywhere from $80 to over $100 for a canister of that to be able to mix it. It's about $160, $150 if you buy it yourself. If you buy roach bait, you're going to spend probably about $50 for a pack of four for roach bait. If you buy uh, dust, you're probably going to spend about $30 to $50 for a pail of boric acid dust. If you buy uh, demon, you're going to spend probably about $80 to $90 on a pint of demon to, to mix another tank for the following month. All right, so now if you factor all that in, I've mentioned probably close to $500 worth of pesticide right there. How much does a contract with pest control cost you in a year? So what you got to figure is call around and ask your local pest control guys. Now this is something I'm really going to get into, and this is the main reason I made this video, is because a lot of pest control guys are out there doing really cheap work. Um, cheap work is not how you get rid of roaches. The way you get rid of roaches is on a month to month basis. It's the only way to ensure you get rid of roaches. The reason this is, is because cockroaches breed on a 28 day cycle. That's once a month. Most of your insecticides, if not all of your insecticides, are gonna only last for about 30 days. Read your material safety data sheet, read them. They will say on the label, these pesticides are not for more than 30 days. They, a lot of them will even advise twice a month, once every other week to treat. The problem is, now this is what I'm running into a lot now, are property managers and landlords. They're cheap. They don't want to pay for monthly pest control. And you've got these guys out there, big name brand box companies that are doing pest control, that are doing every other month and every three month services for roaches. And they're doing it cheap so that landlords don't have to pay a full price for pest control work. And that is ridiculous. The thing is, is that you cannot, all right, this is a, this is a uh, direct plea to exterminators. Stop doing cheap work. The thing is, you've got a skill, you've got an ability, do it once a month, you're gonna get rid of the problem. The biggest issue with doing roaches, roach jobs at a every other month or a quarterly basis is that the chemical starts to lose its effectiveness over a period of 30 days. By the time the 30 days is up, you've got a very weak pesticide. It may still kill roaches, but the problem is, is when the babies hatch and they get in the chemical, they have a natural immunity to pesticides anyway when they first hatch out of the egg. And so you're gonna run into these problems where you're gonna breed resistant cockroaches because chemical resistances is a real thing. And that's another thing too when it comes to buying your own pesticide and doing your own pest control is you're gonna have to factor that in. If you start using the pesticide and you realize that the roaches aren't dying, you're gonna have to switch and use something different anyway. So you may end up investing in three, four, maybe even five different liquid insecticides in order to treat the cracks and crevices effectively in your home to get rid of roaches. And the only way that that's really gonna be economically feasible for you is to hire pest control. And this is not you know, me trying to get people to hire me. This is YouTube. I'm only licensed in Virginia. People aren't going to hire me, you know, from Illinois or Michigan or, you know, wherever all over the world that people watch this channel. So I'm just trying to be upfront and honest and, and uh, lay it on the line and give you some numbers that you can actually use to help you in your quest to eliminate your roach problem. Um, and so like I was saying, the biggest issue is, is that exterminators aren't doing the work that needs to be done. They're not going out and doing 12 visits in a year. They're doing four visits in a year. They're doing six visits in a year. They're doing half the amount of work or less. 
and it's just not the kind of work you need to do for roaches. You need to explain to your customer that you cannot get rid of roaches successfully unless you come once a month. You're just going to make the problem worse. You're going to spread them around and they're going to get a lot worse and they're not going to get any better. You might have a really good knockdown on the first visit. You may even have really good knockdown on the second visit, but eventually you're going to breed chemical immune roaches that aren't going to die from anything that you have in, in your possession. And so this is just really trying to explain to you guys. And another thing too about pesticide, if you go to Home Depot or Walmart or Lowe's or somewhere like that, and you buy a liquid insecticide, most of the time they are mixed weaker than what you would use yourself. All right. So the, let me, let me give you an example. The label for demon it specifically states on the label. Now, this is a multi-use pesticide, Demon Max. You can use it for ants, crickets, cockroaches, silverfish, spiders. Uh, general, the general way that you typically will mix it is a half an ounce per gallon of pesticide. All right. The recommended balance, the recommended mixture for a clean out, which is a typically the first service, maybe even the second service, depends on the way you do it, uh, for German cockroaches is an entire ounce. So you're going to mix it at double strength to get rid of roaches uh, on a clean out service. If you go to Walmart and you buy something with cypromethrin in it and you're going to use it to get rid of roaches, it's going to be mixed at the general use the, for, you know, ants and spiders and fleas and things like that. It's not going to be listed, it's not going to be mixed on a roach-based chemical, like a clean-out service. And so that's a big issue too. You're going to end up breeding uh, chemical immune roaches. So if you're going to want to do it yourself, you're going to need to actually buy the concentrate don't worry with buying this stuff where it comes in a pump already pre-mixed. You're going to need to mix it yourself and you need to read your labels. Do not go against the label. Don't mix it too strong. You don't need to. You just need to mix it to label. Like I said, it will specifically state on the label for cockroaches, mix it to this percentage, mix it to use this many ounces per gallon. Um, don't go against that. That's what you need to do. That's the way the chemical is designed, and it will work. If you obey the label, it absolutely will work. So hopefully this video has helped you, explained to you how to get rid of roaches yourself. If you want to try to go down that avenue, hopefully you'll be successful. Um, it is a lot of work. A lot of times it's just cheaper to hire an exterminator. Um, you know, a lot of times people will watch these videos and they're just, they're trying to find a way to do it themselves. Like with bed bugs, you can save a lot of money doing bed bugs yourself. But when it comes to roaches, I've known of people that have spent four five, six hundred $600 in a period of, you know, four or five months trying to do it themselves. And they could have saved a whole lot just going with pest control for an entire year. And then you're not going to have any bugs. It's not going to have to be with just roaches. It's going to get rid of ants and crickets and silverfish and spiders and maybe even mice, depending on, you know, your contract. Uh, some exterminators cover even mice under general pest control. So hopefully this will help you. You guys have a really great day. Really appreciate it. Thanks a lot.